In this video, we're going to show you how you can list the posts by author. So here we have all the published posts. If I scroll down, this user then can see the posts that they've published. And if they scroll down further, they can see a list of their posts that are in a draft. And similarly, I'm going to show you another user. And you'll see that for this user, as we scroll down, you'll see that we see their published posts and we see their draft posts. So I'm now going to show you how that's set up. So we head over to the back end and we're here on that post and we're in the archive page for this particular custom post type called product tests. And I'm going to show you the query that we've used. So here where we have the users published posts, I'm going to head over to the query, head over to the advanced setting, edit query. And you'll see here that we've selected the post type. And because we're in the archive page, to select the post type, I can simply head over here under advanced and select post type. And that will default to the post type that we're in. And when it comes to the author, so I only want to show the author's post, we say author in. And then we need to get a list of IDs. So we'll match up the author ID to the user ID. And if they match up, we'll display the posts. So to do that, we select author in and then under data, what we do is we head over to the advanced function and then we choose the PHP function return value. And we then access a standard WordPress function, which is get current user ID. Now the query will check that the author is listed in the ID of the current user. And if it is, then display the posts. So we do that for the user's published posts and we also do that for the user's draft posts. In order to show the draft posts, we add one more item to the query and that is the post status and we select draft. So in this case, we've said that the author must be in and you'll see the standard WordPress function get user ID. The post type in this case, we've actually typed in the word product test and under post status we've selected draft and now we save that and so now when you have a look on the front end you'll see that the posts are displayed with all published posts at the top from both users then the users published posts and then the users draft posts so what I'm going to do now is create another draft post for this user and show you how that works. So here we have the post. I'm going to add a new post here and we're going to call that uh, tester draft two. So we'll create the draft post first and then I'm just going to save that draft. And now when I head over to the front end view, you'll see that that post is listed here under tester draft draft number two and if I go to the other user and I refresh the post is not listed in their list of draft posts so I scroll down and you'll see that it's not there now I'm going to move it from draft to publish status so head back to my post I'm now going to publish so the post published I'm now going to head back over to the website and you'll see now that the post will move out of the user draft post. It's listed now in the user's published posts and it's also available now to everybody on the website as a published post. And if I head back to the other user, you'll see that when I refresh, that published post is now visible in all the posts but doesn't appear in the other listings. So that's how easy it is to set up and display only the posts that the user has published or that are in draft to the user that's logged in. So thank you for watching.